What's poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV in the mother and place to be. And today we got some in uh Inshin Gin Packs. No, that's not what we're doing. We got some Genshin Impact today. And I wanted to um um share my my loadout and my my team or whatever. There is a lot of talking going on here. Let's just get into the party setup. So there's not a lot of ambiance in the background. I do absolutely love that part of the game though. But anyway, this is the team that I use to fight the uh, Pyro Regisvine or Regisvine, however you say that. But, um, all right, but this has been, what, a couple hours afterwards. So we did a little bit of grinding. So this isn't the exact set I used. It's much better, but I mean, I still beat it. So it is what it is. But anyway, um, I wanna show you guys exactly why I use the team that I used. Um, these two right here, this is a power duo hands down hands down a power duo i really didn't get to use much of zhang ling um as i wanted to mona really stole the show but uh you guys will see that later but anyway um i want to show you exactly why i chose the team that i did now i could have brought barbara to do some healing but you know this was kind of this was on the stream it was on the fly but this is i i absolutely love um noelle and the things that she does um she is super tanky um her damage really isn't all that good but she also does heal um let me show you talents is that right normal attack yeah up to four consecutive strikes that's not what i'm looking for um breastplate there we go all right so does geo damage and she absorbs 250 percent of the <clears throat> Wait, possesses 250% absorption efficiency against geo damage. So she really just doesn't take damage. She just doesn't. I mean, honestly, no matter what that you're going up against, once she has that shield up, she is kind of crazy early game. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not in game, but um, early game, she is, she's a go-to tank. Like if you really want to take a hit, if something is not, you know, doing right, um, you need to take a hit that is who you'll use so her constellations is 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 the main factor here so her combat made decreases the stamina consumption of noelle's charge attacks by 20 percent. so that means her spin attack she can go for way longer way longer while it does increase the damage that's great uh, absolutely dope all right and the the first one that i got your back um sweeping time and uh both while sweeping time and breastplate are both in effect, the chance of breastplate's healing effects is activated to 100%. Now let's go to uh, breastplate again. Uh, breastplate, there we go. So the amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales on Noel's base defense. So if you make her tanky, if you make her tanky, you activate her, um, activate her skill, her defense scales the health that she gets back. There we go. All right, so that's why I use her. Um, so she's a healer and she's a tank. So she doesn't really, uh, she doesn't take damage. So she's really good to have on your team if you're in a clutch situation. All right, on the, to the next one. We wanna talk about Mona real quick. All right. Oh, you know what, dang it. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. There we go. All right, let's look at our artifacts. Definitely wanted to go over artifacts. I'm I have her on a tanky HP set, so it's a traveling doctor and adventure. So both of these um, have deal with HP and defense. Um, now look, getting these materials are very hard to come by. Like this, like like weapons, they kind of have those crystals to level up. The artifacts really don't, so you have to feed artifacts into artifacts to level them up. So this is probably going to be the slowest grind of the game. You can get your traveler's notes to level up the characters themselves. You can get the crystals to level up the weapons, but these do not have an exclusive um, material to level these up. I really wish they would add it. It would make the, the game a whole lot easier, but I guess since it's, I'm not gonna call it a gotcha game. It's gotcha-esque, gotcha-esque. Um, <laughs> there has to be some type of grind. And this is where you're going to get your main your, your main stats and your main power from. So um, without going into too much detail, we'll just skim over, you know, what we have. So we've got the traveling doctor set. It's a two piece set that increases incoming healing by 20 for uh, incoming healing by 20%, which is really good because you want her to survive. She's the main benefactor and why you need to survive. 
um and the adventure it just increases your uh, max hp by a thousand so i really feel like does that is that a static thing i'm not sure if that's a static thing just for the set or does it depend on the rarity of the set i don't know we'll figure that that out later all right so all right i i get it i get it all right so we're gonna talk about mona next um mona is my only five star gacha character that i pulled um currently right now she's at level 30 i think this is the same i don't, I don't think i touched the build on her uh before um or after I, I i did the uh pyro but um let me see we'll go to weapons she's carrying the wid sith um increased aria uh, wait 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 let's see when character takes the field they will gain a, a random theme song for 10 seconds this can only occur once every 30 seconds, attack is increased by 75%. Aria increases all elemental damage by 60%. Interlude um, elemental mastery is increased by 300. That is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now, what I did learn with artifacts um, for her, I don't, I'm not sure that I want to be on Berserker anymore. Um, Instructor is probably the best because it increases attack instead of crit so when you have like a character like Diluc, who's always who's who's super um what what is the word super has has a large attack stat right out of the gate that's what you you'd want to use a berserker on because he's going to hit hard no matter what now mona with her being a mage um she really doesn't have any hp so traveling doctor would definitely be a better a better pick because she gets heals or you could use, um, I think the, what is it? The first set for traveling doctor that'll give her an extra thousand, uh, HP. One of those, one of those, one of those, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that anyway. So berserker set is probably not the way to go. Um, you definitely want to, uh, go with instructor set to get that, get that damage up a little bit, or even, uh, what is it? Exile. Uh, to get her elemental mastery up. I think exile does elemental elemental mastery. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. And oh, I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Okay. I think I had. Yeah. Yeah. I had that one equipped. All right. Anyway, let's move on to official real quick. Um, her weapons. Rust, 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 rust. Now I watched Tectone's video about the uh, official and um, the official and Jing Lang, Jing Lang. Man, I cannot say that to save my life. But um, Jing Lang combo and rust is definitely if you have this bow, you want to put it on her because her normal attack is nutty. It's nutty. It's it's it really is just absolutely crazy. Um, there are going to be many times where you're going to use the charge bow, but the thing is with her, you're really only going to be doing it for the elemental status. So having the, uh, the decreased aim shot damage isn't all that bad. And it's only 10%. It's not that bad. Uh, but the increase on, on the normal attack by 40 at level 40 is great. It's absolutely great because like she just melts monsters. She melts mobs like like nobody's business. But uh, onto her artifacts, we do have her on Berserker um, since, simply because she does have that normal attack boost with with Rust. So that that's a good thing. So when she hits those crits, she hits for like uh, what is she level 30 something right now? Let me see. Um, she's at level 32. So like I say, we're pretty early in the game hitting at level uh at level 32 she for for crits she hits upwards of three to four hundred just normal attack it's kind of it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy but the main thing with her is um like even if you have like one one dupe into her she will um when uh, they'll uh the bird oz he'll fire like little things and they'll get that um they'll get that um the electric element off every now and again so that's pretty cool but that's pretty cool i'm not gonna go ahead and dive in, into that because that's not why we're here um 
uh her the main reason why i use her is to synergize with uh zhang ling or zhang ling zhang ling there we go all right so honestly that team is definitely just the star of the show it's just the star of the show so what we're what we're what we're trying to accomplish here is her um her ability so pyro nato arguably next to d luke one of the strongest attacks in the game so what pyro nato does is it she basically takes her staff and just throws it and there's a circle and it circles around you and it just burns everything in sight so once you do that you let that go and you'll bring out Fischl, and then you just launch her bird and then it creates the over um the overload damage and it's just it's massive it's massive i think like with the levels i'm at i've seen it go into the thousands no no joke no joke at all like i say this is very early game um a lot of my artifacts aren't leveled up at all and she's going into the thousands that's kind of crazy um unfortunately i didn't pull her uh during through through gotcha i actually had to go through the uh the abyss to get her it was it, it was definitely a grind but um the main character and sucrose if you have them are your best friend for that because wind uh animo animo is the uh the main factor in getting um getting through that floor so yes it's the third floor you have to beat all three of them you don't have to get any of the stars you just have to make it through in order to uh be able to get her so do it it's worth it she's definitely worth it i do have um let me see she's got the dragon's bane i got her to send it at level 40. she's almost about to hit level 40. i really just need to get like maybe one more uh traveler's notes uh the the epic one not epic one is it epic i think it's epic yeah the epic traveler's notes and she's at level 40. not too hard to get um but yes i do have her on uh sojourner Sojourner set is okay. Sojourner, uh, Sojourner and Instructor is basically the sets that you want to have on her because like her attack is just oh man, her attack is really good. Her attack is really, 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 really good. Um, but also if you can get elemental mastery as a sub, that would definitely help out as well. So Sojourner, Elemental Mastery, um, maybe even some recharge, maybe even some recharge. So you definitely want to do that but yes this is the team that uh took out the power registine so yes if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer but yeah thank you guys so much for watching coming through it's been your boy mikey jtv as okay yeah i, I get it yes i get it uh, honestly yeah anyway <laughs> y'all have a nice day guys peace